Right, so I've been working on tuning my uh, muscle car here, and I have two shocks. Uh, this one I just filled with 47.5 weight, and this one has 80 weight. Originally I had stiffer springs, so I had those red uh, Revo springs, which were these right here. Uh, forget the color, is it orange? It's pink. Uh, but they were too stiff, the car would bounce in the front, so it wasn't really dampening. Uh, but uh, I figured I'd show you what happens if your uh, oil is too heavy for the spring. So these are the GTR long. These are the double stripe black. So again, 47.5, 80 weight. I'm going to compress them both. I'm going to try to hold them together somehow. And if my hand wasn't in the way... You can see the difference in time. So that's one of the reasons why, I mean, there's a variety of reasons why, you wanna make sure that the spring and the oil match. And what will end up happening with the, your suspension is, if your oil's too soft, your car will just dive, right? So there won't be enough dampening. But if your oil is too heavy, so too much weight, the spring will not be able to decompress the damper. Uh, which is why it's important. So if I were to keep this oil, I would need a stiffer spring, but I don't want to go with stiffer springs. I want to keep this spring, the softer one, and I'm not worried about it because now I have a sway bar. Uh, so the sway bar has actually been doing a very good job, uh, which is why I'm going to go with the 47.5 for this application. There's other applications you may want to go with a completely different weight, maybe even lighter, maybe even heavier. But I hope you found this useful. It's just a quick little comparison. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you have not. Comment below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,